So I first heard about it actually very casually. I was walking through the student union building in my, at my university and I saw a pamphlet for medical technology which would now be called medical laboratory science. And at that time I really wanted to be a biochemistry major but I realized that um, you know to work it, as a biochemist, I probably would have to get a PhD. And at that time, I really wasn't interested in all that additional schooling. And I realized that medical laboratory science would allow me to work with my bachelor's degree and earn a living, you know, where I could live independently. So I think that my interest in laboratory really probably started in high school when I took an anatomy course and we uh, did all kinds of fun dissections of various, of various animals and I really liked that, you know, the laboratory part of it. And then in college, you know, I enjoyed my general chemistry and organic labs and some of the other students used to make fun of me for that because it wasn't very cool to like the laboratory but, you know, I just loved that stuff. I first heard about the laboratory profession when I got ready to go to college, interestingly enough. I thought I was going to dental school. And then, of course, you can have any undergrad degree, biology, chemistry. But then I found a degree in clinical laboratory science. And I was like, wow, that seems interesting. And I talked with our academic chair, who happened to be a medical laboratory scientist. And I was like, and I heard about the profession and what he did. I'm like, why doesn't anybody else know about this? Uh, I went to college like many people, thinking pre-med. And so I headed that way and started off on that kind of route and, and was fine with that. But in my sophomore year of my college year, I took a microbiology course. And that world, that microscopic world of infectious agents and microbes just grabbed my, you know, my fancy somewhat. And so from that point on, I knew that I was going to be working somewhere in a laboratory uh, field. And it actually ended up in a public health laboratory. So I spent the first decade of my career working in a public health microbiology laboratory and then came over into academia about 10 years later. So when I first started college, like most people, I was kind of trying to figure out in general what I was good at. And I knew that I was good at science and I knew that I wanted to be in healthcare. But every traditional route that we all hear about growing up, like physicians, nurses, um, none of it felt like the right fit. And so then my mom at the hospital where she's a pharmacist, they remodeled their lab and they gave all the different areas tours of the new and improved lab. And so she did a tour and she thought, oh, maybe Michelle would like this. And so she asked, would you be willing to give a, a tour to my college age daughter? And so I did a tour and they let me kind of go to each little department in the lab. I remember in hematology, they let me make a blood smear in micro they let me look at plates um, and so on and so forth and from then on out I was like this is the perfect fit. I'm a medical doctor and I really started learning about the lab formally as a medical student but even when I was a child going to the pediatrician I was always intrigued by what they would do with this little bit of blood that they got out of my finger prick and, and how they could tell things about me and whether I were sick or well based on that sort of, of test. Um, I ended up deciding to go into pathology. Uh, my father was a chemist. I like chemistry. I was a chemistry major myself and so the laboratory was just a natural place for me to, to choose to work because it, it really fit my interest and uh, and I just felt comfortable there. I initially found out about the laboratory because I had a temporary job and I was working as a lab assistant in a cytology preparation capacity in a cytology department. Um, and then after that, um, I think it was just people kind of were saying, what's the next logical occupation? I was kind of looking for, I was kind of bouncing around temporary jobs. And, uh, and at some point, uh, the, site, the department I was working in was cytology, the next position within that as a cytology technician. And then at some point I knew there was a department across the hall from us that was histology and pathology and I didn't really know what that was. And at some point I was home one day and there was a commercial on TV for a histology program at a local community college near me and I was like okay let's sign up for that. And then uh, 
like two years later, I graduated with my associates in my histology technician role, and I've been doing that for about 25 years. I was originally um, interested in marine biology and went to Stony Brook University to be a marine biologist. When I was about to graduate, I didn't know if I wanted to be a PhD in marine biology or something else. And my advisor said, well, if you don't know, don't become a PhD. Do a technician work for a few years. And so I went to the University of Rochester for just normal science teaching and uh, did all the subbing and all that sort of stuff. And then they, this position opened up uh, to teach a medical lab program. And it sounded a lot like I would be able to do the lab work I love, teach students how to do that, but also take my science training. And so I um, started the program. So I developed all sorts of labs that involve Kool-Aid or food coloring or oil. And to teach those basics, I got certified in phlebotomy so that I could teach that aspect of it because I had no background in that at all. And slowly through the last 11 years, I've created a program that not only do my students able to get certification, but they are able to work and all local colleges in the, in the state are willing to take on my students more easily than they normally would potentially get thousands of dollars in scholarships. So I found about being a pathologist assistant on accident. I was looking for a field where I could be a part of the medical community and a part of the diagnostic process, yet I wanted to work with my hands. And so I really stumbled upon the profession of being a PA in pathology and the, the rest is history. <laughs>